now and i don't think we i think we totally agree that society in in the past has had discrimination today has discrimination it would be silly to deny atrocities there's a lot of them that happen i think what we take issue with is every society has groupism every society has hierarchy every society has atrocities with you know humans at the end a lot of humans at the end of the day are nasty to each other the only issue is and yes all of those need to be tackled we are all committed to the cause of social justice and equality what we object to is kind of tying it and saying the popular caste narrative basically says the world's 1.2 billion hindus you all have a spot in this pyramid you are assigned that spot at birth it doesn't change and it hasn't changed for thousands of years that is the narrative we have a problem with and especially you talked about in the american context how does that play out with forget people like me who came from india and even have inkling of jati etc yeah. what about our kids and the third generations that grow up here they mm-hmm. barely know that they are hindu let alone what their jati varna sampradaya gotra shreni etc may be however if the current set of legislation sets and the narrative is to be believed just because they are born into a south asian family they are this is like with them for life and i cannot think of a more racist construct frankly to say that just because you were born into a, you know you have certain types of origins that you are guilty of a propensity to discriminate i mean if you said that about any other community you would be tarred and feathered for being you know racist and you should be but funnily enough you know you can make these statements about the indian community or the south asian community and be lauded as a social justice warrior um and then what are, what about the children who are products of interfaith marriages interracial marriages adopted children you know how, where do they fit into this immutable pyramid hierarchy that is thrown at us in every pop, you know article that there is textbook that there is i think that is what we are pushing back against you will find a lot of people in india and everywhere who believe in jati varna who don't believe in jati varna so i don't think we get into theological debates it's whatever you want whatever you know rocks your boat i guess is my take on it but once you start talking about it from a policy or legislative perspective you better be grounded in much more solid data and much more accurate things and you can you know otherwise debates are fun and we can debate forever yeah.